Hey Celine fans, I know it's been a while, I'm so sorry. If you've followed me on Twitter or Facebook or anything like that, you probably know that I've been really busy lately. I had a lot of family stuff going on towards the beginning of the year, and so that was the first half of my break. And then right after that, right when I was planning to put up new videos, I happened to get a job offer out of the blue. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to happen that quickly. And I pretty much had to immediately like quit my other job and move and start this new job. So it's been really a lot of changes and transition and it's just really been taking up a lot of time. So I'm so sorry I've had such a long break from these videos, but um, I'm back now and I have a ton of videos to put up. I still have videos left over from my Vegas trip in January that I need to put up. And I still have two haul videos from the Celine store. So stay tuned for those. I really want to get all of this done and all of the videos uploaded before I go to Las Vegas, which is in less than one month now. Celine is back in Las Vegas. She starts her shows up again for the summer and there is a lot of very exciting news about that. But before I get to that, a couple little notes. A few weeks ago, Celine did a photo shoot for her new CDs, which are coming out this fall. So that's really cool. Um, Celine also had an interview this last Monday on the Today Show. It was about a five minute long taped piece with Savannah Guthrie, I think, interviewing her. She also performed at a Walmart shareholders meeting, their, their big annual shareholders meeting, which was, la uh, was that last Friday? I think that was last Friday. Um, so she performed at that. Um, she also has changed her hair and I'm not all that crazy about it. The cut I really like because it's kind of like my length. So I'm cool with that, um, but her color is really, really light. It's like a, it's definitely like her summer look, I think is what she's going for, but it's a little too blonde for me and I'm not all that crazy about it personally. It's been reported that there are some changes to the show. I don't think there's official confirmation of this yet, but um, definitely some changes. We knew there were gonna be changes. I mean, there have to be. She's she's had the same show for the whole run so far. So um, they, re well, pretty much a couple little changes, but um, there, there have been some, there's rumors of substantial changes now, which is kind of exciting. So the first change that is rumored with the show is that they have removed the Michael Jackson tribute. So that would be Ben and Man in the Mirror. And they have supposedly replaced it with Celine singing Adele's Rolling in the Deep. Not quite so crazy about this change to the show. I think that Celine will do a really, really good job of singing that Adele song. I don't particularly care for Adele. I think her songs are a bit overplayed, but I think that Celine will do a good job with it. The next rumor is that Celine has added a duet with Neo, which will most likely be a virtual duet, and it's for the song It's Incredible, which is going to be on Celine's new English CD this fall. And we haven't heard any clips of the song or anything like that, so who knows what it sounds like, but I think that that would be pretty cool if they added that. And it would be totally fine with me if it replaced the Andrea Bocelli virtual duet of the prayer, because that virtual duet is so boring. I mean, it's just Andrea Bocelli standing there like this. And I love Andrea Bocelli, but honestly, it's boring. It is really, really boring. So if they had a virtual duet with Neo instead, maybe Celine dancing with him or something, I would be down with that change. The third rumored change to the show is that Celine has added another new song from her upcoming English CD, and the song is Didn't Know Love, and there was actually about a 10 second preview of the song, about a 5 to 10 second clip of it, um, during Celine's interview on the Today Show this last week. And you can't really tell too much from that sort of a clip about what the song is like, but hey, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about any new music. I'm a little bit nervous because it's been a while since Celine has put out a lot of new songs all at once. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm sure that if Celine's doing it, it'll be fantastic. Okay, so with starting this new job, I seriously have just been like, my whole life has been commute, work, commute back, eat, sleep. That's like pretty much it. A couple hours here and there in between. So I totally was oblivious to the fact that the name of Celine's new CD has actually been released already. So it's going to be Water and a Flame. And that is the title of her new English CD, which is due out this fall. And now it's making total sense to me why I've been seeing water and flame type images mixed with Celine on Facebook all week. It's been popping up in my newsfeed. And I'm like, what is going on with the water and the fire and everything? And Celine, I, I totally, it was like straight over my head the whole week. And now it's making sense. So I feel like a total dork, but that's all right. OK, 
Okay, and that's it for now, you guys. Once again, I'm back and I will be posting videos very soon, but I just wanted to do a quick little video for you guys right now because I'm very excited about Celine's return to Las Vegas. And I know a lot of you guys are in Vegas right now. A lot of people who I'm friends with on Facebook and Twitter and all of that are going to Vegas and posting things. And um, it's just very, um, it's exciting. I wish I, I was there right now, but I'll be there in, in less than a month. So I'm, I'm thrilled about that. And um, yes, I will talk to you guys later. Have a Selena day. Bye.